What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another video update. Today we will be talking about the new Marvel Legends Infinity War series that just was seen in Australia. In case you guys haven't seen the pictures, Hasbro has actually come out with the new Marvel Legends Infinity War series and I have to say I am really looking forward to that series. There's a lot going in there that we have to talk about so let's actually get right on into it. First up it does look like movie Thanos is the Builder figure now. We have gotten Thanos in the past as a Builder figure but it was more of the comic book version. I'm really interested to see how this version looks when he's fully assembled. The only thing we have right now are just pictures of every character in their box and they all look amazing. A few of them look like they're gonna be a pass or shelf warming but overall they still look amazing. The first figure that I'm having a look at right now is Serpent Society. I don't know too much about this character. Um, It's obvious he's using the Green Goblin Hobgoblin mold but I just don't really care for him much. I don't know anything about the character. What's interesting about this character is that he does come with the left arm for Thanos which has the Infinity Gauntlet on it and that looks really nice. I wish I could see the gems if they're painted on or if they're sculpted. I want to see what they look like if he has all six of them. If he does, I want to see it. Like if somebody has pictures of Thanos fully put together, please, I want to see what they look like. The other figure I'm looking at right now is the Infinity Wars Captain America and it. Chris Evans, like I don't know what Hasbro's problem is, they just cannot get Chris Evans face looking right. I've seen a lot of zoom ins on this figure but there's just something about that face that, ugh, come on Hasbro, get with the program, you've done so many good face sculpts with the print technology, why is Chris Evans still so hard to get? I just don't understand it but he does come with alternate hands, it looks like two fist hands and a pair of grip hands. He also does come with a shield that's really interesting that it's not the standard Captain America shield but he has a shield. It might be given to him by Black Panther in the movie. I don't know. It's really interesting to see. Then we have Proxima Midnight. Now I don't know too much about Proxima Midnight. Proxima Midnight does come with the main torso of Thanos. Just looking at the torso in the packaging Thanos is gonna be pretty big. And Proxima Midnight looks really nice. I do like the staff. Like I said, I don't know too much about the character, so I really can't say anything about it. So let's actually just move on to the next figure. One figure that I am really looking forward to in this series is Taskmaster. Now, we did get a Taskmaster with the Captain America line, but that was the more modern Taskmaster. I really wasn't a fan of it. We're getting classic Taskmaster, which looks amazing. He has a shield, he has his sword, he has his pistol. It just looks like a really nice figure, and I really cannot wait to get my hands on this figure. Like, I'm salivating just looking at it. It looks really good. The colors look nice. It doesn't look like there's too much that they can mess up on his paint, but I have been surprised in the past before. So Taskmaster is in there. Can't wait to have him, so let's continue on. Now we are getting another Iron Man in this series, which that was to be expected. Iron Man is still a really popular figure and the armor looks really nice. I love the way this armor looks. It's different from what we've seen in the movies, yet it's really similar. It looks like it's fixed all the problems that the Civil War Cap or Civil War Iron Man didn't do right. And his artic articulation looks like it's not going to be hindered at all. I do like the fact that the shoulder pads look nicer. The hips look like they'll be able to move. And of course, he comes with two repulsor blasts, open palm hand, which it looks like they're doing away with a hinge on his repulsor hands, which it's kind of a bad thing because he needs that hinge for other poses. And just having a stationary hand, I just don't like the way it's going to look. So... Hopefully it has a hinge, but from the pictures I'm looking at, it doesn't look like it has a hinge, so let's move on. Probably one of the figures I'm looking forward to the most is the Iron Spider. We are getting the Iron Spider suit that we saw in the trailer now. I have to say the figure itself looks amazing, but where are the accessories? Where are the extra hands? Spider-Man needs extra hands. It looks like this Spider-Man is missing a lot of things. No alternate heads, no hands, no webs, no nothing. He just comes with Thanos' leg, which next to the figure 
looks humongous compared to Spider-Man. I really wish he came with alternate hands because I don't want to have him with the thwip hands all the time. I want to have him with wall crawling hands, fist hands, just something that we can actually pose him with. This is unfortunately, ah, uh, it looks nice, but I want more accessories with Spider-Man. I'm probably going to enjoy the Spider-Man, but more accessories would have made me enjoy it probably a little more. So let's actually continue on. Last but not least, there is Songbird. Again, don't know too much about Songbird. I don't know. Uh, DC is more my thing. So I really don't know much about Songbird, but she looks nice. Again, like Spider-Man, she does not have alternate hands, which is a problem because she has these flat hands, which I guess can be good for flight hands. One thing I am going to criticize Hasbro with Songbird is that her face looks generic. All their female faces, with the exception of a few, have looked very generic. And if you don't believe me, look at all their Mockingbirds, look at the Scarlet Witches. They all have that generic looking face and they really need to do something to make that face pop a little more because these faces look really generic. I don't really care much for the face, but the figure looks nice and I am looking forward to her. Like I said, I am looking forward to getting Thanos all put together. But that's the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War series coming out. I'm pretty sure there's going to be Infinity War series 2. I don't know what's going to be in that, but I am looking forward to this wave. It is movie Thanos and unfortunately it's how he looks without the crown, without all his armor. It's something we're going to have to live with, but still looking forward to the figure. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Go check out my action figure reviews. I do try to have something new up every single day of the week, except Saturdays and Sundays when, the day when I rest. But as always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review some point in the line, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.